Most computers use a CMOS battery to remember the date. That normally looks like that. That is a CR2032 3 volt battery. On a lot of computers you will simply put that on the motherboard and that will remember the date. On some other computers they look like that. So that has wires soldered onto it. You've also got a little plug on that end. That battery costs between five and 10 pounds. A CR2032 like that costs about a pound for two or three of them. So they are a lot cheaper. If you ever take your laptop to pieces to change the CMOS battery and you find that it's like that, you may end up waiting a few days for it to arrive if you buy it online. That's why we're gonna convert this battery to work like this battery. It's a very simple job to do. One thing I must stress is do not try and solder the wires onto the battery because the battery can explode. I've now got the battery and I've stripped off some of the insulation from the end of the wire. I'm now gonna stick that on there using a piece of conductive tape. And it just so happens that that is copper tape. You can also get aluminium conductive tape once we've done that, we can then turn it over. We can then stick the negative wire onto the negative side of the battery. We can now take a piece of insulation tape and we need to pull this really tight. So we're gonna pull it as tight as we can and stick that down to the battery. And we're gonna pull the tape as tight as we can and wrap the battery in the tape whilst we're pulling it tight. That will ensure that the wires keep good contact with the actual battery. So once we've given that a good wrap, if we just push everything together nice and firm, I've now covered the rest of the battery with insulation tape so that there is no metal showing. I'm now gonna place that inside some heat shrink sleeving until it gets about halfway down the tube. I'm now gonna apply some heat to the heat shrink sleeving using this heat gun. You could now put a sticky pad on there and you could use that in your laptop.